We'll be taking a look at the romantic comedy What Women Want from the Year 2000. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. So let's get started. Nick Marshall is a seasoned advertising executive who sells things to men and attracts women. He feels most women find him attractive because of the dressing code and acts around them. He doesn't care about anyone but himself, and he's often late to work. He expects to get a raise at the advertising agency where he works, but instead, his boss Dan tells him that he's going to hire Darcy McGuire so that the company can grow and attract more women, which upsets Nick a lot. Gigi, Nick's ex-wife, has a conversation with him regarding their daughter, who is 15 years old and will be staying at Nick's residence while she and her new husband are on vacation. Back at the office, Darcy, the new advertising executive, gives Nick and the rest of the staff a list of feminine goods and tells them to come up with advertising ideas for them. When Nick finally arrives home, he puts some of his ideas to the test in order to demonstrate to Darcy the most effective method of advertising. In the process, he trips and falls into the tub. The electric dryer he was carrying shocked him, knocking him out. The next morning, when Nick wakes up, he starts to hear what his nanny was thinking, which completely throws him off. When he goes to work, the same thing happens, and he can hear everything the women who work with him are thinking. He finds out that most of the women at work don't like him because he's too proud. He tries to tell his friend at work what's going on, but his friend doesn't believe him. He goes back home to clear his head because he thinks he might be going crazy. When he sees his daughter kissing her boyfriend, he tells the boy to leave when he finds out how old he is. Then, he decides to go to his doctor in hopes that she can help him. His doctor tells him that he has been given a great gift and that he shouldn't get rid of it but should instead use it to his benefit. Nick follows her advice and starts to use his new skill. He starts by flirting with a waitress at a coffee shop. He had been flirting with her for a long time, but she always said no. After his date with the waitress, Nick is able to hear what she likes and finally gets a date with her. Nick decides to use his ability to steal Darcy's ideas at work to make up for the time when he uses his ability to make her sexually satisfied. The advertising plans that the company should use make his boss like him more and more, but he also starts to fall in love with Darcy, and she starts to feel the same way about him. Nick makes the decision to use his gift in the hopes of repairing his relationship with his daughter. He listens to what she likes and chooses to take her shopping for her prom dress, where they seem to have a good time trying on different clothes. Nick does hear what she thinks about him. He finds out that she wants to lose her virginity at the prom and decides to have the talk with her. Over time, he does a terrible job of this. Nick uses his skill to get along better with the women at his job, and it doesn't take long for them to like him. Nick and Darcy spend more and more time together as their feelings for each other grow. They even go on a date and kiss at the end. Nick keeps using his ability to steal Darcy's ideas and use them in a new Nike ad meant to make women feel good about themselves. Nike's executives like his presentation, this is why Dan fires Darcy because he thinks she hasn't done enough since she started working there. Nick, on the other hand, reasons for her by telling Dan that all of the ideas he brought up came from her work. Nick does lose the power to hear what women are thinking, though. During a very bad lightning and thunderstorm, on his way to see Aaron, the company secretary, who was thinking about killing himself. He succeeds in his task and gives her a job that he had turned her down for before. He also makes up with his daughter after her boyfriend breaks up with her because she won't have sex. Nick tells Darcy everything, including how he stole her ideas and passed them off as his own. At first, Darcy tells Nick to leave, but she changes her mind and they kiss.